Good evening. You may have heard of the slogan, sheer driving pleasure. And if you have, you probably think BMW. Comfort, safety, performance, reliability, etc, etc. But in my experience, nothing could be further from the truth. For me, they score a big zero on this particular vehicle for its reliability and for their customer service because they can't accept that this car has got a manufacturing design fault. Let me introduce you to my BMW 318 diesel and an 07 plate. It's done 87,000 miles and it's got a full service history. Actually, I wouldn't just say this car's been looked after. I would say I've mollycoddled this car ever since I purchased it approximately three years ago. The car has a widely publicised timing chain problem and this has affected hundreds of unfortunate BMW drivers all over the United Kingdom. The problem is the teeth on the camshaft sprocket are excessively sharp and over time they eventually break through the chain. The additional problem to this is the chain is in, in an unserviceable location on the engine. So an engineer has to take the whole of the engine out to work on it. That results in huge labour costs to the owner. To this day BMW locally and as a company have provided little help as there is one fundamental part of the script they stick to and that is there couldn't possibly be anything wrong on a BMW but of course there is. Having been advised to take it to my local dealer I was momentarily encouraged to find out that the car had a recall notice on it not that BMW bothered to notify me of this recall. Anyway, any hope was quickly dashed when they claimed the recall only applied to the timing chain tensioner and not to the timing chain. So they instead quoted me between two and a half and six and a half thousand pounds to repair the engine. They were also going to charge me over £500 just to diagnose that problem. The car is probably worth four and a half to five thousand pounds. Similar with the independent engineers, I've been quoted between three and three and a half thousand pounds to have this engine overhauled and correct the design fault to prevent it ever happening again. Another of BMW's slogans is we create exceptions to make you feel exceptional. Well in my experience that seems quite appropriate but perhaps not in the way the company intended. With the help of my laptop I'll uh, provide you with more information into this problem. Well here we are, I'm indoors now and I've got my laptop here. Um, I've got a search engine ready to go and I'm going to put the BMW M47 diesel in to the search engine. Straight away there's a number of things here and what jumps out at me is engine failure straight away here and that's the watchdog program that highlighted this problem on these cars. At the top there's the Wikipedia site and if I scroll down the page here there's a paragraph here talking about timing chain problems. The M47 engine family is prone to excessive timing chain wear and premature failure. He goes on to talk about rattling noises. Now I never experienced rattling noises. Fortunately for me my car just died on the drive one day it was working, the next it wasn't. But some people around the country haven't been as fortunate as me. 
they've been driving down the motorway in the fast lane at 70 miles an hour with children in the car. And when the timing chain snaps on these vehicles, the whole power of the car goes. So this becomes a real health and safety concern as well. It says the timing chain failure may call for engine repra replacement or a costly repair. I can vouch for that. So we go back to the search again. Watchdog have done a programme on this. BMW deny engine failures. What possible defence they've got, I don't know. And then we get people who are offering services to repair these cars. We've got Prestige um, engines here. Um, and I've already contacted them. And this is their response to my email. Hi, the cost of rebuilding your engine as new factory spec with genuine parts and modified chains is between three and a three and a half thousand depending on the damage. We rebuild one of these engines every day somewhere in the country and are very busy at the moment. We are working to a 10 day lead time currently. So those engines are keeping these guys pretty busy. If you scroll further down, we've got a Facebook page. And we've also got a number of forums discussing the problem. And as we come down here, we've got an engineer who's actually explaining what the problem is. And he's, he's telling BMW to take this on the chin. Just accept you've got a fault on your vehicles and recall them. So I've put a pretty thorough explanation together as to what is wrong with my car. Uh, and I will continue to pursue BMW for this. Uh, if you've got any problems, similar experiences, then please get in touch with me. Uh, I think you'll see from the information I've given you that there's a real injustice here and BMW really have to start taking responsibility. Thanks for watching and bye for now.